What's going on guys, Spartacus here. Today I got a different kind of video for you. We are going to be upgrading my pre-built iBuyPower PC. Now it's a 9400F with I believe an MSI 2060 overclocked. Um, basic motherboard, very generic. It's an Asus B360M IBR1. And then the RAM is just an eight stick of uh, the 2666. Um, Pretty good for what I got it for at the time. It was a thousand bucks over a year ago. Um, there's a few downsides to it, but I figured this would be the perfect time to make a review on this, talk about it a little bit, give you guys some insight on uh, buying a pre-built PC from Best Buy. Um, but we also will be upgrading the RAM. That's one of the issues I've had with it, um, but here it is right here. We got some Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. I think this will be a very nice upgrade for it. This is at the 3000 uh, frequency though. I'm hoping that my motherboard can support it. I know my i5 can, um, but we'll just see how it performs. I really, this is my first major, not major, I guess this isn't a major PC upgrade, but it is my first upgrade. Doing it myself, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited uh, to go on this adventure and see what happens. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it guys. All right, guys, just going to walk you through real quick what was going on through my mind when I was opening this up. And um, I've, I've opened this a few times just to clean it out, you know, get some of the dust out. And uh, some of the fans I know is pretty hard to clean. Uh, like the main one being on the CPU, that was actually pretty hard to clean. So if you guys have any recommendations for cleaning products for those, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate that. Um, and that was such a strange stick of RAM. Um, You'll see later like what it says on it, um, but yeah, strange stuff, and no wonder why my computer was having issues. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was having a lot of bad experiences on like Call of Duty, Apex, like you name it, whatever I would stream and play, it just couldn't, my processor got like shit on by it. Um, so I really thought that this was the upgrade I needed because I saw videos of people with the same parts as me performing way better with more RAM. So I was, you know, I figured I narrowed it down to this being the main issue. And I'm really happy that iPad Power made this case like this. So you can open it up and do what you need to do. And I intend on keeping this and upgrading it more and more with Intel parts. Um, and just continually upgrading as time goes on. Um, but yeah, this is where I notice you know some of it's a little dirty, and I just clean up a little bit. Um, but let's get into the next part. All right, guys, we actually have boot up. Change the placement. I put first. I had it right next to the other one. I wasn't sure how the Intel. Uh, works because I've been watching a lot recently about AMD and all that and I know placement for some RAM is like that. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not big techie. This is my first time doing this so if you guys have any tips or anything let, uh, let me know down in the comments. I definitely do appreciate it. I also clean this bad boy out too because he's a little dirty. Um, but we got the monitor on. Right now I'm just gonna log in. Alright guys check it out. We got it up and running. It says we got the 16 gigs right there. Very excited about that. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a better detailed uh, thing once oh, it's an origin. Look at that. Of course, it has issues. But I'm gonna give you guys a more detailed look uh, right now. I'm gonna get this all figured out, put away. I'm just very happy that this is working. Um, the speed though does not look proper. It says 21. So. Let me see if I can boost that up to the 2666 that the system can max out at, I believe. Uh, so we're going to figure that out. I'll be right back. All right, guys. As you can see, for whatever reason, it didn't load up on my main monitor. Ooh, that looks like crap. <laughs> I need to clean that. Um, but it loaded up on my BenQ, uh, the BIOS. And, uh, yeah, so what we got going on. I went to the frequency, and I set it to this. So let's see, did that, did that change it? Did it change it? Did it do it? Okay, cool. So I think it changed it because this is the 3000, but I, I believe this motherboard 
and uh, I'm pretty sure my processor only can support this, but I figured this would be good for future upgrades, and I, I don't think this RAM was good. You guys can let me know down in the comments below if I could incorporate this somehow into the system still, but uh, as you can see, it's like, I don't know. I don't really trust it. Um, but let me, guys, let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below about that. And yeah, I am going to test some games out, test some things out for you guys, because I had some issues playing like Call of Duty and a bunch of other games. Like, I just wasn't getting the max performance I could, and I believe it was the RAM messing with the CPU. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it, guys. Let's play some games. Let's figure this out. Let's go. This is an awesome upgrade. Alright, now we're just going to run a little test. I don't have my stream really set up. I just want to record. And I know that I'm pretty sure that runs about the same processing as like streaming would. So we're going to try this out, play some fire range, shoot some stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens. There's one thing I noticed, my keyboard uh, RGB is like freaking out. Not sure why. So, I have to tweak that in the settings. Wow. I'm recording right now. Usually I have tons of issues. What settings are we on? <clears throat> Not too bad. Settings. Usually I couldn't even stream. I, I swear it had to be that RAM. Okay. Stupid Apex. Alright. Now this is an actual stream. Playing this. Looks super clean. Computer's a little loud. Don't know if you can hear it. If you can. Uh, maybe I could tweak that. I don't know. Uh, I told him I was looking at the overclock because I didn't think I could actually overclock this with the BIOS. And you actually can. Uh, so that's awesome. <clears throat> but I don't want to overclock because I have this stock cooler or stock fan. But this is playing really well. This upgrade was definitely necessary for this pre-built PC. And um, honestly, I've been like kind of shying away from PC gaming because I couldn't, I can't stream what I want to stream on here, and I can't play it like the max things I want to play. And right now, I'm doing that. This is crazy. I did not think I would get to this point. Um, I'm gonna check real quick and see what the performance is on Streamlabs. Yeah, my CPU is running at like 32. That's awesome. It's freaking awesome. All right, guys. So all in all, I really think this was an amazing upgrade. The performance, I already noticed a huge difference. I wasn't able to even stream games at like the max settings. I had Apex at max settings and was streaming game or I was streaming it with NVENC and 264. And I, the quality wasn't too bad. I got to tweak the settings a little more just to, you know, dial it in. But I couldn't even play it before. I could not even play those games and stream before. They would just drop frames consistently. And with this upgrade, this alone has fixed so much with this pre-built PC. Now, if you're going to buy a pre-built PC and it's only coming with one stick of RAM and it's from one of these companies like Cyber po or, uh, I Buy Power or uh, the Cyber, you know, any of those, Digital Storm, any of them, make sure that you upgrade the RAM. And also, I, I've read in the reviews that the uh, PSU as well is something that needs to be upgraded. So that will most likely be the next upgrade, unless I do the motherboard or whatever it is for this PC. Next PC build, though, is going to be an AMD build, which I'm very excited for. And it's going to be, uh, I'm planning on doing a 3700X with a 2070 Super. But more on that later. Uh, we'll get more into that. <laughs> Today was awesome, and it's a good upgrade for my Intel PC. I'm very excited about this, and I look forward to streaming and playing more PC games now, and I think I will be able to uh, just with that small upgrade. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. I was worried that I had to, you know, do a whole lot more work to this. I was worried that the GPU was gone, like something was wrong, but we are good. Good to go, 
and we found out a lot more about this PC, so it was definitely a learning experience, and I'm very excited to move forward and do some more upgrades to this thing. So, if you guys haven't already, definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and turn that little bell on. It helps me out so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, but thanks again, guys. You all take care. I'll catch you in the next video.